so we can get started. Gentlemen, let's get seated. Uh, cadets, this will be live streamed, so please keep that in mind when we're saying the names of wars or when anybody's talking. Please be respectful. Good afternoon, my name is Ethan Scovey. I'm the Dean of Academics here at the Academy. Before we begin, I would like to invite Cadet Colonel Grant Seller to come forward to post the colors and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. We are here today to celebrate the academic, athletic, and leadership success of our cadets through another unique, challenging, yet over, overall very successful year. During this school year, some of these incredible young men remain focused, positive, and disciplined throughout the year. Our resilient and determined senior class and incredible senior leaders led the way, and we're truly proud of the support that you offered the Brotherhood. Today's award recipients have been selected by individual apartments for their exceptional academic, athletic, and leadership achievements. I would like to start by introducing some of the people responsible for making this happen and supporting our cadets. I will begin with our president, Dr. Mark Desjardins, whose steadfast support of the cadets, our administrative team, faculty, and staff was very appreciated. I would also like to thank of our vice president, Ms. Janet Pullen, who always places the needs of our cadets above all else. To the members of our board for their continued support, thank you, and we look forward to continue expanding our academic programs next year. Also, thank you to our supporting cast, many of whom are joining us on our live stream today, our warrior parents and families. Thank you for your support of our faculty, staff, administration throughout all of our COVID protocols, nonstop events, and changing schedules. We appreciate you. Next, a very special thank you to Ms. Amber Smith, who compiled all the documents, made the awards, purchased the medals, and created the awards program. Thank you, Ms. Amber. I would also like to recognize two individuals who aren't here today, our registrar, Tammy Clark, who's been working remotely. Can we please give her a round of applause? As well as our on-campus substitute teacher, Ms. Chandria Wiwer. Finally, I will introduce those who have worked so diligently with each of you this year, young men. As you know, we have an incredibly talented and dedicated team of educators here, and these cadets have the opportunity to learn from the best of the field. Throughout all the challenges teaching through COVID has brought, our teachers persevered and always placed the cadets as their top priority. 
let's give our wonderful faculty and counselors a round of applause. At this time, I would like to introduce the academic administration and department chairs. As they come to the podium, they will introduce their department members. I will begin with our assistant dean and also still a current teacher who took on many extra tasks this year, including supporting the science department, assistant dean, Miss Amy Coe. <laughs> department chairs, please stand as I call your name. Department chair for languages other than English, students of other languages soon to be Assistant Dean of Instructional Services and Support, ASB Co-Director, Ms. Ramirez. <laughs> Director of Learning Strategies, Ms. Hess. For Math, Ms. Drake. For English, Ms. Frankfurt. Social Sciences, Mr. Hall. New Science Department Chair, Ms. LaCobb. Coming up on 30 years, Fine Arts, Mr. John Musser. In the Ready Room, Aviation, Mr. Kevin Moss. Computer Sciences, Mr. Malcolm Muter. Our Counselor's Lead Counselor, ASB Co-Director, Ms. Brittany Zamora. Ms. Kyla Gudekunst, Ms. G. Ms. Tina Benedict. And joining us uh, as a permanent member of our counseling team next year, Ms. Tiffany Stanton. For JROTC, Senior Army Instructor, Lieutenant Colonel Kirby Scarborough. And last but certainly not least, Math Teacher Faculty Chair, Jolene Mitchell. With that said, we'll begin our ceremony with the academic awards. Cadets, when your name is called, to come forward to the podium. The department chair will introduce their team and then read the name of all the cadets. Just line up to my left, your right side, accept your certificate, and then we will recognize one or two of you with a special medal. We will begin the awards with the English department. At this time, I would ask Ms. Frankie and Mr. Stewart to come to the podium. Good afternoon. I'd like to start by introducing the English department for 7th and 8th grade English, Mrs. Dominique Vigil. 9th grade English, Ms. Rosemary Burkhart. To my left, 10th grade English teacher, Mr. Chad Stewart. 11th grade English, Mr. Jarrett Crone. And then I, of course, had the pleasure of teaching the 12th graders, our soon-to-be graduates, in AP Language and English 12. <laughs> Will the following cadets please come down to the field? William Kerwin, Jacob Honeycutt, Kelly McKinley, Tate Meyer, Drake Snyder, Andres Vasquez, Reese Wantanabe, and Bohan Shu. Smith Language Arts Award. This award is named in honor of Mrs. Harriet Smith, a longtime high school language arts teacher. It is presented to a cadet who consistently rises to the challenge of writing thoughtful, top quality work under pressure. Moreover, this cadet exhibits good grammatical and vocabulary skills in both oral and written work. This year's award recipient is Drake Snyder.
Thank you, gentlemen. You may have a seat. Now I'd like to introduce Mr. Musser from the Fine Arts Department. Okay, please come down after I call your names, but first I'm going to introduce the wonderful professionals of the Fine Arts Department. Of course, to my left is Mr. Matsuoka, Art and Photography. Over here to my left, we have the one and only Mr. Lugo, Bandmaster. And to his right, we have Marquise Johnson for Drama Instruction. Somewhere over here, I see Frau T for video production. And hiding in the back is Dominique Vigil, who did a wonderful job on the year. So, gentlemen, we're going to read your names. Please come down, and Mr. Matsuoko will present you with your certificate. For guitar, we have Christian Beckery. For video production, we have Julie, uh, Julian DeGraff Johnson. For photography, we have Isaac Glimka. For art, we have Jiasra Liang. For music tech, we have Brighton Millhouse. For yearbook, we have Ding Hing Sun. And for band, we have Reese Watanabe. And for drama, we have Corbin Ruley. The Paul Hamas Fine Arts Award is named in honor of Major Albert Paul Hamas, a longtime bandmaster, musician, composer, and beloved advisor and counselor. It is presented to a Tegadet for outstanding achievement in any or all of the fine arts programs presented at the Academy. This cadet has shown the desire and dedication that is required to achieve excellent in the fine, excellence in the fine arts. This year's award recipient is Reese Watanabe. And Mr. Lugo is going to present him with the award. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. You can take your seats. I would now like to introduce Ms. Maya Ramirez. Hello, I'd like to introduce my department's um, language other than English. To my left is Mr. Rodriguez. He teaches Spanish. To my right is Miss Jeanette Caravero Vera, who also teaches Spanish. And in addition, Miss Eleni Tiochari, who teaches German. All right, I'm gonna call down the names just like before and stand to the left. Nathan Chen, Philip Hunt, Wesley Liu, Kelly McKinley, Enzo Pilchner, Ethan Shahadi, Reese Watanabe, Huaye Zheng, and David Sanchez. Mr. Rodriguez.
It is my pleasure to present now the Espeso Foreign Language Award. This award is named in honor of Crescente Espeso, a longtime instructor of foreign languages and beloved advisor, counselor to the cadets for three decades. It is presented to a high school cadet who has shown an outstanding interest and achievement in foreign languages over his three to four years of study. This year's award recipient is Wesley Lu. The ESO awards are given to cadets recognized for the exemplary progress they've had in our ESO program. These international cadets have proven to be exceptional students as they successfully acquired a new culture while learning the academic English language. This year, we have one award recipient, Mr. David Sanchez. Congratulations. Come on up. I'd now like to bring up the department chair for math, Mrs. Casey Drake. Thank you, my name is Casey Drake and I'm honored to be the chair of this wonderful math department. I have the pleasure of teaching Algebra 2 and Honors Algebra 2. I'd like to take a moment to introduce each of the members of this great department. Teaching Pre-Algebra and Algebra 1, Mrs. Lisa Cafro. <laughs> teaching Algebra 1, Geometry and College Algebra, Mr. Bobby Huggins. Teaching Honors Geometry, Honors Pre-Calculus and Statistics, Ms. Denise Martin. And teaching Advanced Math Topics and both AP Calculus AB and BC, Ms. Jolene Mitchell. Now I uh, will call up the following cadets. Christian Beckering. Kelly McKinley, Ziao Wang, Alexander Wang, Ziaoui Zhang, Enzo Pilcher, Chin Kai Chin, and Pierce Backage. and Alexander Shen. Each year we recognize the top mathematics students by presenting the Martin Mathematics Award. This award is named in honor of a former longtime high school mathematics teacher. It is presented to a high school cadet who has demonstrated an outstanding knowledge of mathematics by consistently being the top performer in AP Calculus AB. This cadet is regularly a top performer in class. He is hardworking, polite, and always willing to help his classmates. This year's award recipient is Ziao Wang. Thank you, gentlemen. I would now like to introduce Ms. Jean Lacob. Good afternoon. I would 
I'd like to acknowledge the following people um, in my department. Um, Dr. Ra Robin Cowan, um, AP Biology, Biology and AP Psychology. Mr. Chris Johnson, Physics, AP Physics, Astronomy, and, and Mr. Gabriel Contreras, uh, chemistry, AP Chemistry, and AP Environmental Sciences. Can the following, following ple people please come forward? Bo Burton, Cosmo, Cosmo Kulati, James Hagen, Baron Khan, Philip Lutke, Binian McGonagall, Enzo Pilcher, Zachary Sway, Matthew Wu, and Ji Hai Zhang. is named in honor of Henry C. Hampton, a longtime high school biology teacher. It is presented to a high school cadet who has displayed an intense desire to understand the discipline of biology. This year's award recipient is Matthew Wu. Congratulations, Matthew. Science is special, we get two special awards. Um, this award, the Bain Physical Science Award, is named in honor of Charles Bain, a longtime teacher of physics, chemistry, science department chair, and dean. It is presented to a high school cadet who has exhibited an intense desire to excel in the physical science area, particularly in physics, chemistry, and in my case, also astronomy. This year's award recipient is James Hagen. Thank you, gentlemen. You may be seated. I'd like to introduce Nick Hall, department chair for the history department. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Before I introduce the mighty history department, I'd like to excuse me, say a special thank you to a couple of people that made our year go very smoothly. First, Ms. Amber Smith for making this today possible. Clap it up for her, please. Second, Mr. Chad Stewart for helping facilitate the uh, National History Day project. My department is as follows. Miss Allison Statham, 11th grade U.S. History and Advanced Placement, U.S. History. 
Mr. Philip Zamora, teaching United States Government, AP, United States Government Politics, Economics, and Advanced Placement Microeconomics. Mr. Gavin Hooker, World History and Advanced Placement Human Geography. Ms. Eleni Theochari, teaching philosophy, and Dr. Robin Cowan, teaching in advanced placement psychology. I teach Geography 7, History 8, which is US history and advanced placement, modern European history. When I call your name, please line up to my left. Oliver Bennett, Garong Deng, Tai Gu Lu, Diego Mendoza Diaz, Nick Summers, Kieran Trotter, Robert Van Hamel Platternick, and Reese Watanabe. Each year, the Social Science Department gives the Gronquist Social Science Award. This award is presented in honor of Richard Gronquist, a longtime high school history teacher, social science department head, and coach. It is presented to a high school cadet who has consistently excelled in the field of social sciences. This year's awards recipient is Diego Mendoza Diaz. Diego, come on. Come here to your left, please. I'd like to welcome Mr. Segovia back up to the podium. And I'd like to ask that computer science teacher, Mr. Malcolm Uter, come up to present his award. So I'd like to start out just by saying uh, I really appreciate the effort all of the computer science students did this year, especially with uh, Computer Science A. You guys all did outstanding, and uh, it was a really tough choice this year. So the Computer Science Award recognizes the cadet who demonstrates resilience in the face of adversity. Computer science can be a challenging and sometimes frustrating endeavor. And this award recognizes those cadets who rose above setbacks while holding to their values and maintaining a positive attitude. Uh, this year, the award, and again, it was a close call, will go to Lanshin Liu. He is, thank you. He's currently taking his AP physics exam, so we'll uh, present it to him officially tomorrow. Thank you all. Uh, next will be Mr. Moss with the Aviation Award. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Uh, the Moss High Flight Award. This award is presented to the top cadets in aviation program. This cadets, these cadets performed at a consistently high level during the entire academic year and conducted in themselves as servant leaders in the ready room and across campus. These cadets also represented the intellect, desire to excel, and willingness to accept challenges which are all traits requisite in becoming a future aviator. This year's high flight cadets are Alec Jenkins and Alex Paulson.
big strategies miss Hess. Okay, good afternoon, gentlemen. The award for learning strategies goes to a cadet has been no stranger to learning strategies throughout his academy career. Not only has he been a stellar cadet in my class, but he has also been an astounding TA for my middle school cadets. Assisting these cadets with their classwork and ensuring that they are practicing the skills so they will be successful in their high school career at a and &A. It is my pleasure to give this Learning Strategies Award to Bobkin Hartunian. <laughs> I'd like to introduce Commandant of Cadets Colonel Wayne Ward and Senior Army Instructor Lieutenant Colonel Kirby Scarborough. So uh, it takes a village to uh, make this machine run. And uh, what I wanted to do is just do a quick introduction for cadet life. Um, hold the applause because there's a lot of, uh, lot of sub departments within uh, cadet life. So we have the health center, health center, transportation, activities, operations and security, and summer programs. Let's give them a round of applause for everything they do for you. Also, I have, uh, he's on his last few months here, but the deputy commandant, uh, Gunnery Sergeant Glimka. Assistant Commandant, uh, Mass Sergeant Lionel Salisbury. And gentlemen, each one of you uh, worked with these, these gentlemen, and, and uh, I'll just name off your, your tax. For headquarters, Alfonso Oseguera. Alpha Company, TAC Officer Kevin Clark. Bravo Company, TAC Officer Damiano Impostado. Charlie Company, Staff Sergeant St. Romain. Echo Company, Staff Sergeant Paul Nixon. Band Company, Sergeant Jason McDonald. So also, JROTC is part of cadet life, and uh, I'm going to bring up the senior army instructor, uh, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Kirby Scarborough, and he'll introduce the team. Afternoon, gentlemen. Afternoon, sir. How we doing? Good, sir. Good, good. Hey, I want to take a brief moment and thank all of you for buying in. Uh, this past year, we had one heck of a year in our department. We climbed mountains that uh, we, we typically do not climb. Uh, we made strides in terms of our leadership development program, the Warrior Leader Academy, scored 100% on the uh, JPA, the accreditation inspection, and revised a whole bunch of things, uh, such as the awards and recruitments that you wear in your uniform. So on the behalf of the instructors and I, we really want to thank each of you Okay, uh, and lastly, just upholding the values of uh, of a cadet and the values of this institution, it means a lot to us. Okay, so thank you very much. So I'd like to introduce the uh, the team. Uh, CW4 Manny Ortiz, LET3 instructor, come on up. First Sergeant Retired, Jeffrey Palacios, LE2 instructor. And as many of you know, Command Sergeant Major Rob Garrow, LET1 instructor, couldn't be here today. So let's give him a big round of applause. Wish him well. 
Okay, now I'd like to invite, uh, this is the favorite part of the year for me, where we really get to hand out, uh, I simply say we cash in the chips. I'd like to invite the scholarship committee from uh, San Diego State ROTC, as well as the scholarship committee reps for the Navy ROTC. Most importantly, I would like to invite Cadet Colonel Grant Seller to come to the podium, Cadet Command Sergeant Major Alex Jenkins to come to the podium, Cadet Captain Oliver Bell to come to the podium, and Cadet Captain James Hagen to come to the podium. We'll start with Alex first. Alex, and, yep, me out here, okay. Every year, the uh, Navy ROTC awards a four-year scholarship to those extraordinary students throughout the country. Recognizing academic excellence, professional development, as well as their leadership on campus and in the community. Not only does the NROTC scholarship provide a full free education for those students, but is designed to train them to become the future officers of the Navy. The commander of the Naval Service Training Command takes great pleasure in presenting the National Navy ROTC scholarship valued at $200,000 for Alec Jenkins attending Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Every year, the Army ROTC awards a two, three, and four year scholarship to those. Hang on. Extraordinary students throughout the country recognizing academic excellence, professional development, as well as their leadership on campus in the community. Not only does the ROTC scholarship provide a free education for those students, but it's designed to train them to become the future of the officers of the United States Army. Army Cadet Command takes great pleasure in presenting three Army National Scholarships valued in between close 150 to over $220,000. At this time, the following is Mr. James Hagen, University of Chicago. Mr. Gr Cadet Colonel Grant Seller, UNC Chapel Hill, go Blue Devils. <laughs> Throw them off. Was it two twenty? Hundred and forty-four thousand. And Oliver Bell, University, oh, the Citadel, sorry, 122,000. Next award is named after Star Major Earl Reedy, U.S. Army retired, former JROTC instructor who, as a teacher, coach, advisor, and counselor, encouraged cadets to develop their leadership potential to their fullest. The plaque is represented to the single graduating senior cadet who best represents the culmination of the, co of the cadet education. The ideal candidate has an academic GPA of at least 3.0, has successfully completed a command assignment, company or battalion command, 
has participated in at least two sports and at least one social activity. The recipient, recipient of this year's award is Oliver Bell. Will the next two cadets make their way down? Alexander Shin and Henry Porter. This cadet exhibits the highest degree of achievement in LET, academics, and citizenship. This year goes to Cadet Staff Sergeant Alexander Shin. Next achievement, excellence in staff performance. This cadet excelled in his performance and duties as a member of the staff. He conducted all the staff planning and training for both Leadership Academy, cadre, and plebes. Recipient is Cadet Major Henry Porter. The Honor Code Award is presented annually in memory of Charles Wells, a former member of the Commandant's staff. The award is given to an upper school cadet who best exemplifies the honor code. A cadet will not lie, cheat, steal, or tolerate those who do. The commandant and the advisor to the honor council determine the recipient. This year's award recipient is James Hagen. The Miko Jane Pimi Award is named in honor of the Academy's first foreign exchange student. It is presented to the cadet who best demonstrates an understanding of relationships between people of different national and cultural origins. Army Navy Academy is indeed an international school with cadets from all over the world. The award is presented to a graduating senior cadet who demonstrates academic accomplishment, citizenship, and a strong sense of international brotherhood. This year's award recipient is Shinosuke Sato. And I believe he is testing, so we will present him his award later. The Stanley Sniff Disciplinary Award is an award presented in honor of Stanley Sniff, a 1944 graduate known for his superiority and discipline. This award goes to a cadet in high school for excellence in discipline as determined by the Commandant and his staff. This year's award recipient is Dimitri Ludke. The Commandant's List recognizes those cadets who've maintained an outstanding citizenship and have not earned a single demerit throughout the entire year. Your actions can continue to raise the standards of expected of the Corps of Cadets and ensure their future success of the Cadet Life Program. 
Will the following individuals please stand in place? We've got a little bit too many to bring down. Please stand when I call your name. Sullivan Adams, Chris Minder Benassik, Nathan Chen, Christopher Clark, Colton DeLeon, David Dror, Kaya Escobedo, Alec Jenkins, Christopher Liu, Lantian Liu, Taigu Liu, Shower Liu, Logan Long, Logan Long, Philip Lutke, Finian McGonigal, Tate Meyer, Matthew Myers, Gabriel Pansuk, Khan Pham, Dola Proto, Michael Ramirez, David Sanchez, Ethan Shadati, Maximo Silvestri, Sanjay Swaroop, Kieran Trotter, Yanbo Wang, Zia Wang, Rock Williams, Fei Hong Zhu, and Aaron Zhao. Let's give these gentlemen a round of applause, please. The General Douglas MacArthur Award, presented annually to the first classmen who demonstrate exceptional leadership, self-discipline, good character, and citizenship in the spirit of leadership as exemplified by General MacArthur. This year's award recipient is Isaac Glimka. I would now like to introduce Coach Nehemiah Brunson. All right, first, I would like to introduce some coaches that we have in attendance. Coach Larson, Coach Jesperson for baseball. Coach Huggins for basketball and golf. Coach Ramirez for cross country and track and field. Coach Scarborough for basketball and football. Coach Moss for lacrosse. Coach Zamora for lacrosse. Coach Contreras for soccer. Coach Muter for swim. Coach Burkhart for swim. And Coach Statham for swim. Will the following young men come down? Keone Fadiaki. Jacob Tesloff, Toby Brill, AJ Marmalejos, and James Hagen.
Letterman's Club, Most Improved Athlete. A Coach's Choice Award, the Letterman's Club Most Improved Athlete Award is given to a cadet who demonstrates considerable athletic improvement while participating in more than one varsity sport. This year's recipient, Keone Fadiaki. Williamson Athletic Contributor Award. This award is given to a cadet who participates in two to three sports over the course of the year, making vital contributions to athletics at the academy through his hard work and his dedication. This award is presented to a cadet athlete who helped with his team in some important ways, such as keeping stats, working hard in practice, or keeping team morale at its highest. This year's recipient, Jacob Tesloff. Coach Scarborough is gonna present the next award. The United States Marine Corps Outstanding Athlete Award. The Marine Corps bestows this award upon a deserving and unsung varsity athlete in grade 12. This cadet has actively participated in athletics and has shown tremendous growth and improvement in academics. This year's award goes to Toby Brill. Martin Excellent in Athletics Award. The recipient of the Harold L. Martin Excellence in Athletics Award is chosen by all our coaches to be the best athlete in the school. This award is the highest award the athletic department presents each year. Our recipient this year, A.J. Marmalejos. Our guest from U.S. Army Recruiting Command, please come forward. The U.S. Army Scholar Athlete of the Year Award. The Army Reserve presents this award to an athlete who has outstanding citizenship and a high GPA. The recipient of this award is a varsity athlete who represents excellence in academic and athletics. The coaches select this recipient this year's Army Scholar Athlete Award is presented to James Hagen. Now I'd like to ask for ASB directors, Ms. Zamora and Ms. Ramirez to come up for the Associated Student Body Awards. Will the following three students come down? Evan Song, Lawrence Zhu, and Alec Jenkins. The Selig School Spirit Award 
is presented in honor of Philip Michael Selig, a 1964 graduate who displayed exemplary leadership in school spirit and in campus relations. This award is determined by a vote of the Associated Student Body Officers, ASB Director, and Administration. This year's award recipient is Evan Song. He's not here today. The Warrior Service Award goes to an upperclassman who has worked consistently with faculty and administration to ensure that academy events run smoothly throughout the year. This cadet provides support without being asked and gives his time and expertise freely and often. This year's award goes to Lawrence Sue. Brookhart Mr. Cadet Award is presented in honor of Gilbert and Pete Brookhart. Mr. Burkhart's services to the Academy have included the position of instructor in the English as well as advisor to the Warrior, Adjutant, and ASB Council. He further served as Dean, Headmaster, and President of the Academy. This award recipient is determined by the ASB and is given to a first-year cadet who has demonstrated the best qualities of a good cadet. This year's award recipient is Alec Jenkins. Congratulations. We're now going to present several scholarship awards. These endowment scholarships are made possible through the generous donations of our faculty, staff, and school-wide community. The Brookhart Memorial Scholarship is a monetary award given each year in memory of Mr. Gilbert Pete Brookhart, former president of the Academy, who during his years at the Academy also served as instructor of English, advisor to the yearbook, ASB council, dean, and headmaster. It is awarded to a returning cadet who demonstrates academic promise through significant academic improvement. Each cadet will receive $1,700 for next year. This year, the winners are Nico Harrington King and Elvis Breitenbach and Nevildson. The Eid Memorial Scholarship. The Raymond Eid Memorial Scholarship is a monetary award given each year in memory of Raymond Eid, former academic administrator from 1945 to 1974. It's awarded to a returning cadet who's dedicated to his studies, demonstrates outstanding citizenship, and displays pride in being an Army and Navy Academy cadet. Each cadet will receive $1,250 for next year. This year's winners, our Sanjay Swaroop, there it is, and Tafik El Tarawi.
The Paul Fernald Jr. Memorial Scholarship is a monetary award given each year in memory of a 1970 graduate of Army and Navy Academy. It is awarded to a returning cadet who has maintained a GPA of at least a 2.5 and who demonstrates the qualities that reflect the warrior experience, such as good character, citizenship, participation in athletics, and good performance in leadership development. Each cadet will receive $1,700 for next year. This year, the winners are Garang Dang and Antonio Palma. I would now like to invite up Ms. Jolene Mitchell, faculty chair, and Amy Coe, assistant dean, to present the faculty scholarships and the two Bathkey General Excellence Awards. These will be our final awards for the afternoon. Sorry before that. I would like to invite up our president, Dr. Mark Dejarzine. Nehemiah Brunson, Vice President Janet Pullen, to announce the John Higgins Memorial Scholarship Awards. That would have been a rough miss. Mm -hmm. Okay. The John S. Higgins Memorial Scholarship is a monetary award given each year in memory of John S. Higgins, who graduated from the Army and Navy Academy in 1959. It is presented to a returning cadet whose hard work and perseverance have enabled him to succeed as a student, maintaining a GPA of at least 3.0. He is an athlete, leader, and a friend. Like Mr. Higgins, whose uncommon knowledge in, in, enabled him to achieve uncommon results throughout his adult life. This award is intended to encourage young men to be all that it can, they can be in all aspects of cadet life. This year, there are four recipients who will each receive a scholarship to be allied towards their senior ring and senior year obligation. Each cadet will receive 1500 each for next year. Please join me in, in congratulating Nathan Torres, Rock Williams, Andres Vasquez, and Michael Ramirez. Okay, and just to correct that, it should be 2,500 for each. To you four, I apologize, I almost cost you 10 grand, so. Now I would like to call up Ms. Jolene Mitchell, faculty chair, and Amy Co, assistant dean, to present the faculty scholarships and Bathkey General Excellence Awards for two seniors. Each year, teachers donate money to a scholarship fund to reward students for their hard work and determination. Students are nominated by their teachers because they make teaching a joy. This $250 monetary award is given to students in grades 9 through 11 upon their return in the fall. The following underclassmen please come forward. Kelly McKinley, 
Ray Kim, Arya Sultani, Khalid Al-Fakri, Garang Dang, and Michael Ramirez. In addition to these underclassmen, we have first classmen, seniors, who will receive a Bathkey Award scholarship in the amount of $500 towards their college tuition. This year, the teachers have selected AJ Marmalejos and Shinosuke Sato. So, AJ and Sato, please come down and be recognized. I believe Sato is taking the AP physics exam. Let's hear it one more time for all of our award winners. Great job, gentlemen. Your hard work this year paid off. This concludes our Achievement Awards ceremony. Thank you for being with us today. And to those families watching us virtually, thank you so much for joining us. I now ask Cadet Colonel Battalion Commander Grant Seller to retire the colors.